Hello everybody, happy Monday. It is the Monday after Christmas. We still have our tree up. I think I'm gonna wait until after New Year's because I still really love it. But I thought I would start another week in my life, kind of give you guys something um, to look forward to at the beginning of the year. I think this is going up January 3rd. So hopefully you guys had a great New Year's Eve. I wonder what we'll be doing. <laughs> I still don't know. Um, Sebastian is on a work meeting right now, um, a quick little work call. I am in my comfies. I did shower and work out this morning, got up early, did all of that, um, which felt nice. I'm not gonna lie, I had to take it a little bit easy and just kind of like ease into it. It's still like a work week for us, but it's not like, I don't know, the beginning of the year where everything's like hectic and crazy. We're still like, easing into things just making us a quick little like snacky lunch and then i'm gonna be up in my office working for a little bit posted on instagram for the first time in a long time <laughs> the last time i posted was like december 11th so it was nice to take a little bit of a break um so if you didn't see that it's our little christmas um polaroid that we love taking every year and aside from that today has to be like a work day but also get the house in order sort of day. I need to clean out the fridge. There's just like leftovers that need to get taken away. I need to like see what I got before the Christmas madness and try to use that up before I go to a store. I need to make my Costco like monthly list. Like there's just so much to do around the house. So I'm gonna get some work done for the next couple hours and then hopefully like get the house in order. Um, and also Sebastian has been really into like decluttering. So he just has like piles everywhere in the house. So we need to like take things to the DI. I wanna run to Michael's um, to get like stuff for a really fun project I'm doing. And then I don't know what else, but I thought um, this vlog will be kind of like pieces all over the place kind of. It's just kind of like a get things done type of vlog. So. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. I'm gonna eat my lunch now and get back to work. Had some lunch. It is like faintly snowing, which makes me so happy. We didn't have any snow, oops. We didn't have any snow on Christmas, which I was very sad about. So it's a few days late, but I still love it. Um, did some work. I still look like this, um, but now I'm going to clean out my fridge. I'm gonna take a little bit of a break so that, um, I don't know. I can kind of like break up my day. And so I figured now's the time to clean out the fridge. It's not like, actually I shouldn't say it's not terrible, but it's, it's kind of like empty. <laughs> but there's just like left, I mean, there's just things everywhere, so. Okay, we are officially all done and cleaned out. As you can see, I have a lot of grocery shopping to do, but in the meantime, it's nice just to have it all organized and clean. Obviously, like her sides are just forever packed of things, but the main part is all clean and I feel really good about it. Hello, you guys. Happy Tuesday in the vlog of getting all your crap together after the holidays. Today I thought we could do a massive grocery haul. Basically we needed to do one anyway and so I had to go to Costco. I go to Costco once a month even though technically a little early to go. It's basically January so I thought that I would go um, today. So I'll show you what I get from Costco. Then I had to go to just the normal grocery store to get like our normal things. So I thought that I, before I put it all away, would take you guys along. I'm still not getting ready <laughs> during the days. I mean, I'm showering and I wash my hair today, which seems like an accomplishment during this like middle of the, like, I don't know, this week is just like the worst week. Cause it's like, you don't want to be lazy 
because you just were lazy for the holidays but then you don't want to be productive because it's not like the first of the year so i'm finding it very um i'm just going with the flow so i felt like washing my hair so i did it um but yeah i can walk through what i got from the store so up top i always get this organic valley whole milk i love it so much for my tea i have been missing it so much we haven't had milk for probably like three days and i've been wanting a like cup of tea in the afternoon and I can't so got some of that I love my Starbucks medium roast iced coffee in the mornings we needed more of our creamer and the one we like is the sweet cream natural bliss I got some sour cream we love good sour cream um, I love to put yogurt in our smoothies we're still on a smoothie kick so I'm going with it I got this shredded cheese for I'm gonna be making crunch wrap supremes again <laughs> this week so honestly this like shredded cheese is just the easiest thing and the best way to do it so i have that i have some string cheese this brand has become my new favorite it's like oh my god it's so good i have some spinach for our smoothies shredded lettuce for the crunch wrap supremes and then what is this for oh this is for one night we're doing like parmesan chicken so i thought it would be nice to do it like a little side salad and then i got sebastian some bananas to throw in some smoothies or just snack on same with the oranges we love snacking on these we ha kind of have to go through phases but we're definitely in a fruit phase right now i got three honey crisp apples i've been loving them with peanut butter as like a little afternoon snack strawberries we always have this is like cute i know it's a lot of plastic but we needed a lot of like veg um so we have a cucumber here green onions a little thing of broccoli um for dinner tonight Sebastian loves a freaking tomato so i always have to get him so many tomatoes um we have some butter lettuce because we're going to be doing yummy like sandwiches for lunch and this is like the best lettuce cilantro you guys know Sebastian loves um i got a few limes as well as a red onion and then a couple things here we just have like a couple things of ground turkey Sebastian loves ground sauce sausage so oh my god please do not <laughs> do not roll off the table um so i got a few things of that this is for the crunch wrap supreme recipe i'm so excited i'm doing a chili at the end of the week so my recipe needed some of those the mild taco bell sauce because you know it's the best again for the crunch wrap supremes we have a ton of the like burrito size that you use to make the outside um, that we need to use up so we just needed the little ones and the tostadas so those are for the crunch wrap this um is for like a little lunch recipe we have it's kind of like a chicken wrap and then i've been loving having like toast in the morning and also with like the sandwiches we want to make and last time i got like a weird just like a whole wheat kind of or like a grain bread but i don't know i'm such a sucker for sourdough so i got sourdough and i'm very happy about it and then they had a little like special for these were like a dollar so i was like these are my two favorite cereals ever so i got frosted mini wheats and of course a frosted flake i know i should probably get like the big size but like that just makes me feel sad for myself <laughs> but i always finish every single box so anyway that's what we have from when oh and also because i'm putting it in the fridge to keep it cool just because you guys may think i'm super healthy i'm the errand runner today which was such an inconvenience it feels like because we just have like a busy day so i treated myself to a little coke so i'll come back for you okay this is what i got from costco it's not a lot um because we really don't like we can't eat a lot of the food things there because we just do not go through it fast enough so i love costco specifically for like the non food items so last month i did like a th i got a thing of toilet paper and paper towels so i didn't need that this time but i love getting things like our toothpaste so we got a big thing of toothpaste um I like buy these maybe once a year i don't even know but we love their flossers so i got a big thing of that which lasts us such a long time um again i love all of my laundry and like dish soap stuff so i got some downy fabric softener and then this is my favorite oops <laughs> sorry about that this is my favorite what is this laundry detergent <laughs> i just love it so and then i love to get the bar soap there we just like are plain and really like bar soap so i usually get the dove but then i saw this for like 
way cheaper, the Kirkland brand, and it literally looks like Dove. So we shall see. Sometimes it's scary to try things in a Costco bulk, but it's just soap, so I figured we'd be fine. Um, and then we needed some Parmesan cheese, so I thought that this would be like a nice little one. This is my favorite butter. I pick it up every time I go. It is the Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter. It tastes so good, and especially on sourdough bread. I'm sorry, I had to swallow. <laughs> I was like, my mouth was watering just thinking about it. Um, and then we have lemons. I love lemon water in the morning for some reason now. It's like become my new favorite thing, and I just love having them. Um, and then for like easy soups, I love their soups at, um, I almost said Trader Joe's, at Costco, and this organic chopped vegetable and barley soup we've had before, and it's really yummy. We needed a new bag of frozen berries for our smoothies, so I got the three berry blend which is raspberries blueberries and blackberries which i think will be nice and then i always get a thing of eggs we love the organic eggs from there i don't know and then chicken breasts so that is my little costco haul that is everything that i got at the grocery store i'm going to maybe put on a podcast or something and get it all into my fridge and all organized So everything is stocked in its place and I also took a few minutes to clean out my freezer which I know I said I was going to do last time and didn't so feels so good and all ready for the week ahead. Hello you guys, happy Wednesday. I'm up, I'm showered, I'm ready for the day. Today I was like okay you know what I feel like I want to get dressed. I want to do my hair and I want to do my makeup. So that's what I did and I actually feel much better and then I worked out this morning which was very difficult, but I did it. I'm slowly trying to get myself back into it. I'm still loving the work um, workout videos from home, um, home workout videos. I don't know why I said that weird, but yeah, I'm still loving those from Sydney Cummings. She's my favorite. And then I just filmed my, what am I calling it? What I got for Christmas video, which was really fun. Um, so yeah, doing a little pre-filming for the year. I'm trying to get ahead. My upload schedule for 2021 is gonna be the same as it was this last year, um, three times a week, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So really looking forward to that. And now I'm just about to get some work done, but I thought that for today's theme, we would get all organized and I would show you guys my new stationary stuff. <sighs> This is my favorite part. I've already shared a little bit of it on Instagram, so if you don't follow me over there, definitely do so. Um, but yeah, I thought I would bring you guys along. I have to write some things in um, my 2021 calendar, so I thought that I would do that today and show you guys my new calendar, my new journal, my new pens, all of it. I'm such a freak and I just love it so much. So there are just three new things that I picked up for this year. I tried to not go crazy because I felt like last year I had so many like, I don't know, a planner here, a planner on my phone, a planner on this, like there was just everything and I'm like, I don't wanna do that anymore. So I talked a lot about getting a new planner and specifically a happy planner. So I looked online and I, I don't know, I kind of wanted to see what they had in store and I don't know if they have them everywhere but I know for sure they have them at Michael's cause that's where I got mine. And I got mine for 60% off which was so cool cause I was like, there's no way they're gonna be on sale because this is the time where everyone's like getting one. If anything, I thought that they'd be on sale like maybe towards the end of January, but 60% off, so excited. And I'm obsessed with it. So it says, this is my year. Is it backwards for you guys or just backwards for me? We'll do a flip through. <laughs> well, I'll turn it, the camera around and do like a flip through, but yeah, I got a happy planner and um, we'll flip through it. But so that's gonna be like my main planner for the year, which I'm just so excited about. I love being able to write like pen to paper and plan out my days that way. Then you guys know I've been loving journaling every single morning and I do it right now I've been doing it in like my old planner, which is just like a dumb idea So I actually got this idea from Colleen Ballinger here on YouTube I don't know if you guys watch her, but I'm obsessed with her. She just seems like someone who is so real and She makes me laugh and I just enjoy her videos so much. They're just a nice break from like I'm not saying she's not great at her job because she's absolutely great at being a youtuber and all of her businesses and performing but her vlogs are just so real life that I think that's why she's so successful because I just love having a break from all of the like 
aesthetic videos on YouTube. Like I love them. Don't get me wrong, but it's just nice to see someone who's like real, you know what I mean? So I got this idea from her because she always shows like her journals from when she was like younger and she just came out with some new merch where the journal is like, she used to just collage all of her journals and do like um, little quotes and put all these things on the front of her journals and it's so cool that she can look back and see what the like the things that she gravitated towards and that's why she chose to put it on the journal and stuff like that um, so I thought that I would do that this year so I just got like a little composition notepad from Target and then I went on Pinterest and kind of created a little like 2021 mood board and um, cut out the ones that kind of spoke to me and that I wanted to put in the journal so I have things like these little stars which I think are cute I have like little things um, like a lightning bolt. I don't know. I just wanted some things that were just like fun and like meaningless. Um, and then I had like this little dreams cut out and then this girl drinking champagne on a plane because I cannot wait to travel again. And it was just kind of like made me think of like success and stuff like that. So that's why I put it on there. I put the year. I put a couple quotes like I will do big things. You owe it to yourself to become everything you've ever dreamed of. Um, I wanted to put London on here, but I ran out of space. So I put New York instead because I was just feeling the New York vibes here. And then um, I put like a little reading and coffee photo because again, <laughs> that's just like where I'm at and my hobbies in life. And then I put a 100,000 subscriber YouTube plaque on here just to kind of like aspire to. Oh, hi. <laughs> and then I put a little note from Sebastian that really means a lot to me um, it just says I'm always proud of you and I'll never stop pushing you he just I don't know he always like reminds me of what I'm doing why I'm chasing my dreams and what I'm doing these things for and stuff like that so anyway that's gonna be my new journal which I'm so excited about I don't think it's gonna be something where I write like religiously every single day just because they are like bigger pages um, I just kind of want to be able to fill it up with memories from this upcoming year and feelings that I have. I'm in a very unique situation where we're trying to build a business. Um, I'm chasing after my dreams. You know, it's just me and Sebastian. We don't have kids, anything like that. I think like just your twenties is such a <laughs> challenging, crazy time in your life. And so I want to definitely be able to remember it because although I do YouTube and I document a lot of my life, I don't always talk about like exactly how I'm feeling or the hard things I'm going through. I don't know. It's just, it's nice to just have a safe place to put that. So that is my new little journal and I'm so excited about. And then I got these nice little pens. Everyone was talking about them on TikTok. <laughs> So I know there's a brand called Muji, I believe, that everyone loves, and these are like a nice dupe on Amazon. So I've already tried them out, and they are so nice. They're they're like tiny, so they're 0 0.5, so they're definitely thin, um, but I want to have like lots of different options, and I'll show you the planner. So I really wanted something that was like a little thin pen, basically, and they come in these cute little colors, which I thought was nice. So anyway, now I'll flip you around, and we can talk through my planner. So this is what it looks like. Now you guys should be able to see like a really cute um, frame of it. It has like these nice little heart um, spirally things, which I think are so cute. And then it has cute little rainbows on the inside. Like it's just so my vibe. So basically at the start of each month, you have like notes, which I feel like this is a tiny note section, but I'm not gonna use that. You can set your intention, which I love doing. I love little things like that. So I'll probably fill that out. This little graph for who knows what, and then like dates to remember which I do love and then each month has a cute little like theme basically and then it goes into a monthly calendar and then it goes into weekly which this is what I love to use for like kind of a to-do list sort of thing anyway um I just love the cute little like theme so again this is February how freaking cute March is also very cute oh my gosh so cute st. Patrick's Day we have April which of course Easter June how cute I'm just so excited to have like a cute little planner now this one for 4th of July mine oh no we still have August <laughs> August a cute little pool day September back to school so Gilmore girls so aesthetic love it November oh my gosh 
I think it's so cute. And then December is probably my favorite because <laughs> how cute. Oh, I'm just obsessed. And then it just has one, it just has one page in the back for notes. But other than that, that is everything. And I think it's gonna work out so great for this year. And then again, just another quick look at the journal, which I love, and then the pens. I'll leave the pens down below. I haven't like had them for a long time. I did try them out and I am obsessed with them, but I'm about to like really, really write in them right now. So um, I can keep you guys updated, but everybody loves them and raves about them. So I'll leave them down below. Um, they were pretty affordable. So anyway, I'm going to now turn on some music, plan for the next little bit, and then probably take a break for lunch. Hello everyone, happy Thursday, happy New Year's Eve. I look an absolute mess today because um, we are doing something tonight, but not until like eight. So there's no point in me getting ready <laughs> because I wanna be like fresh when we do our plans. So anyway, that's why I look like this, but it is the little bit into the afternoon. Um, got our podcast episode up and I've just been working with Sebastian on a couple of things. And then I thought I would take a quick little break because um, we really want to do our dream boards together and Sebastian is going to like print his out and like put it in a frame and all that. But I really like the look of like a cute little messy but organized um, cork board. And so I was gonna buy one but Sebastian has this one in his office that he's not gonna use. And it's still really nice but it's this like wood as you can see. So I kind of wanna paint the frame this like cream white color. So we shall see. I mean, it's literally gonna take two seconds, but I wanna get it done so that it can dry and then I can start putting things on it. So that is going to be our project for the day to get ourselves in the mood for a good 2021. I am so excited. I love dream boards. I didn't do one last year, um, but we did do like 2020 goals. Uh, which was fun to like look back on. Um, we talked about all that in the podcast if you haven't listened to it, but um, yeah, so I'm excited to do one this year. I think it's fun. I know some people don't like them and I think that that's fine. I didn't used to like love them, but now it's like, oh, I wanna look at like what I want in my life every single day and have it close to me. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, do we have some white? Yes, we have some white. So. I think I'm just gonna paint it white. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like stressed about it, but I sort of am. So I'm going to put some paint, put some music or YouTube video on, get this done within probably five minutes, and then we will be off to celebrate our New Year's Eve. We're just doing um, a little hangout with some of our friends, which will be exciting and nice to see them. Um, but yeah, and then hopefully tomorrow I can start sticking all of my little papers and things and dreams on my board. And just like that, we have a nice fresh paint of white on our cute new dream board. I am so excited to get started. I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and then probably tomorrow's clip will be me putting it all together. Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. Usually I would cut off my weekly vlogs on Friday, but what happened yesterday? Oh, yesterday was New Year's Day, so it was the first, and can't believe we're in 2021. <laughs> I still can't get used to saying it, but anyway, um, me and Sebastian um, had a great New Year's Eve. We stayed up so, 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 so late. We just had a little game night with some of our close friends, and then yesterday, we didn't wake up until 11.45 which I don't even remember a time where we've ever done that. <laughs> so I don't know what, I guess we needed a good long rest from 2020. So we got up and then we watched just like a little bit of TV together. We really took it slow yesterday, which was really nice. And then um, we came downstairs and cleaned 
everything. Took down all of the Christmas decorations, which is so sad. My house literally looks like we just moved in. <laughs> um, and then we sold a bunch of stuff um, on Facebook Marketplace, which is really nice. Decluttered like closets and cabinets and like Ugh, we just did so much cleaning yesterday, which feels really nice and I was gonna do like a clean with me But it was like so sporadic and all over the place Like I was in one room and then I was in another and it was just like too hectic to do for like YouTube um, So I didn't vlog yesterday. So I figured today I would put in um, the last little day for you guys I'm gonna be um, Just chilling out today kind of straightening out some other things for the house and then I want to finish up my dream board so We'll do that together later on today. Right now, I'm just sitting on my couch. It's so sad to not have our cute little tree up or any of our like garland. Like, my, well, we're selling that, so ignore the the pile there. But my house just looks so empty. And this is the like couple days that I always dread, like trying to get used to <laughs> the lack of decor. Um, but it honestly does feel good to have everything nice and clean and organized. And I'm just sitting here reading um, my book. I have my coffee with me. Sebastian is at the gym. And so I am gonna take this quiet time to read a bunch of my book. This is The Dreamers by Karen Thomas Walker. Or no. I always say Thomas, it's Thompson. <laughs> and I've really been enjoying it. I'm only like 117 pages in. And this is my first book of January. It is the, I'm reading a book a week. We shall see. Um, so I'm nearly done with it, but um, I'm enjoying it so far. It's actually crazy because it's all about um, this college town in Southern California and these kids start falling asleep and then like not waking up and they don't know if it's like a virus or something in the water something in the air and like they're still living um but they're just like not waking up and it's like getting contagious like lots of people are starting to fall asleep and not wake up I don't really know what I was expecting but I thought it was going to be more <laughs> this is going to sound bad but like magical I guess but it is so eerie how this was um, published in 2019, so it came out in January 2019, so way before we knew anything about COVID or anything like that. But the precautions that this town takes it is so eerie to like, I don't know, read about it because they have to wear masks, they have to quarantine, they... There's a lot of like politics going around where some people are thinking other people are crazy for not coming out of their house or stuff like that. And I feel like when I'm reading it, I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But like, if I were to read this maybe last year, I'd be like, oh my gosh, that's so crazy that people would act like that or people would have to wear masks or like, what is this? It would feel more of like a fantasy <laughs> where this is just like, oh my God, I feel like I'm literally reading about this last year we had um so it is very good it's like a multiple um perspective book which i like and yeah i'm not like too far into it to have any other thoughts but as far as like the topic and stuff it's like the craziest thing that i picked this up i was not expecting it to be like that but um so i'm gonna sit here for the next little bit while the house is quiet into myself It's been a little while now. I went out and did um, a ton of chores that I needed to do, but I'm back home and I went to go put together some of my um, dream board that I've been telling you guys about and I don't have any push pins, which is no problem, but I'm not able to do it today. And I do need to finish off the vlog by today. So I'll just show you guys um, a little preview. It's still not hung up yet, so. It's not like finalized, but I just kind of place the photos where I want them to be. And I feel like it turned out really nice. I have a couple quotes that I love, um, silly things like traveling, dream cars, places I want to visit, all of those things. Um, but yeah, I feel like it turned out really nice. I'm going to have to wait a couple more days until I run out and get some push pins. And then I think I'm going to put it like somewhere on this wall. We're gonna go get my bookshelf on Sunday. So there'll be a nice little um, remodel coming of the office that I'll be able to show in future vlogs. So stick around for those. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog getting myself into gear for this brand new year. And don't forget to subscribe and I will see you back here. Bless you. I will see you right back here for a brand new video really soon. Bye.